Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video! Take a look at these images. These are living beings of different species interacting with each other. Today we're going to learn about a very special form of relationship, symbiosis. Symbiosis, what a strange word! Have you ever heard of it? It comes from a Greek word which means living together. And that's exactly what happens in symbiosis. Two completely different species, which have nothing to do with each other, unite and live together very closely. Yes, that's right, it's as if they were a team. They don't do it because they are very good friends or because they love each other. They do it because they benefit. Depending on who benefits and how it affects the other, symbiosis can be classified into three types. Mutualism, commensalism and parasitism. Mutualism exists when the symbiosis is mutually beneficial. In other words, when both species derive benefit from the relationship. This is the case of this little bee and this flower. The bees feed on the nectar of the flowers and in return spread their pollen so that the flowers can reproduce. It's a good deal. The two species benefit from their relationship. Mutual benefit, mutualism, easy right? Commensalism occurs when only one species in the symbiotic relationship benefits. And the other species doesn't even notice because it doesn't lose anything no matter what happens. Which follow the whale shark everywhere to eat the leftovers of what it hunts and to protect themselves from their enemies. They are so cheeky, but the shark doesn't mind. It's very comfortable commensalism, don't you think? The third type of symbiosis is called parasitism and is harmful for one of the species. It happens when the organisms in the relationship benefit at the expense of the other by damaging it, making it sick or even killing it. The species that benefits is called a parasite, hence the name parasitism. And the species that is harmed is called the host. The parasite can be outside the host, like these fleas that keep bothering this poor little dog. Or they can be inside, like viruses and bacteria which make us sick. In any case, parasitism is a symbiotic relationship, but it's not a very pleasant one. Well, we have already learnt about symbiosis and its different types, commensalism, mutualism and parasitism. Do you know that us and our dogs are also symbiotic? Of course! We feed them and take care of them, and they always show us love and affection. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video.